Hi, I am Dr. Rahul Vag. I am a consultant surgical oncologist at Manipal Hospitals, Baner, Pune. Today we are going to uh, talk about one very important topic that is diet and its association with the cancer. So, as we all know, there are many environmental factors which are responsible for the formation of cancers and diet is one of the uh, most important um, environmental factor which we can uh, consider to be associated with many of the cancers. So obviously as we all know uh, the healthy diet is very important for the prevention of many diseases right from cardiovascular disease to the prevention of cancer. But um, how does diet exactly uh, correlate with the incidence of cancer that uh, we are going to discuss in this um, short video. So healthy diet is very important for prevention of cancer. So what does the healthy diet exactly means and how diet is uh, responsible for the formation of cancers. So there is no um, exact randomized controlled trials which has been done uh, to prove the association of um, particular substances uh, or particular dietary uh, factors with cancers because practically to do an RCT is not uh, feasible uh, to see uh, to link it with the cancer. But there are many observational studies which has been done and they have shown repeatedly that certain dietary patterns or dietary habits are associated with increased risk of certain uh, cancers like. Uh, increased consumption of red meat which we um, uh, may be taking from either dairy or uh, some other uh, form of uh, meat uh, that is very constantly linked with colon cancers because uh, the red meat which is either grilled or charred uh, it has uh, it releases many of the amino acids which are directly toxic to the uh, colon epithelium so the, those um, carcinogens are responsible for formation of colon cancer then uh, there are other um, uh, dietary factors which can be linked to the uh, formation of cancers like sugar. So as we all know sugar is a very commonly consumed uh, product but uh, there are, the sugar is responsible for mainly obesity and obesity is uh, one of the important factor for uh, many cancers like it is responsible for postmenopausal breast cancers then colorectal cancer, prostate cancer in main. Then also it is linked to lung cancers, pancreatic cancers. So yes, obesity uh, which is happening because of this um, excessive sugar, sugar consumption is one of the important uh, dietary habit linked to the cancer formation. Then uh, we will come to the next important um, aspect that is how will you prevent um, this cancer formation with dietary modifications. So there are certain studies uh, done in animal models where they have shown that um, increased consumption of green leafy vegetables or increased consumption of fibers in the diet it, it may reduce the incidence of colon cancer because these fibers invariably um, wash down many of the carcinogens which might be present in your uh, GI tract so that is one important aspect that to increase the consumption of fibers in your diet then uh, you can um, uh, get your vitamin D levels checked and if you are deficient in vitamin D levels so you should take the supplements for the vitamin D uh, that has been uh, proven to be um, reducing the risk of certain cancers like colon cancer then um, in consumption of milk can re uh, reduce the incidence of colon cancer so obviously there is no randomized control diet but these are all observational trials then uh, avoiding the exposure to the pesticide uh, laden food or trying to uh, take organic uh, diet which is very uh, having a minimal uh, or no uh, pesticide residues in them can also help in the prevention of cancer. We will come to the commonly consumed beverages uh, which has um, certain uh, links within cancer formation like alcohol. So as we all know that um, a limit, a consumption of alcohol can be associated with the formation of cancers but uh, there was one um, misconception previously that one uh, cup or you can say one glass of one drink per day is uh, beneficial but uh, the recent studies which has been done on alcohol they are suggesting that uh, even consumption of single drink per day is also not good for your health and that is associated with increased risk of certain cancers like breast cancer in women, then oropharyngeal, esophageal and uh, GI tract cancers, uh, they, they are all been linked with an uh, consumption of alcohol. So you should limit or you should avoid the uh, consumption of alcohol completely. And uh, then one another important beverage we uh, routinely consume is coffee uh, or coffee. So uh, there are, they have found that in fact um, drinking of coffee is been associated with reduced risk of certain cancers. Uh, 
the reason for that is maybe because um, coffee uh, reduces the glycemic index of certain foods and reduces the blood sugar levels so it may uh, reduce the risk of endometrial cancer in women it may reduce the risk of prostate cancer in men and uh, in certain uh, patients of uh, subgroups risk of colon cancer so yes coffee consumption in limited amount can uh, prevent or uh, protect you from uh, these certain cancers has been found in these observational studies as we all know that um, there are multiple causes for the formation of cancers and there are multiple environmental factors which can be linked to a formation of cancers but uh, there are certain environmental factors like diet which are in our control and choosing a healthy lifestyle and healthy dietary choices can help you prevent your risk of getting in cancer thank you